This is the NASA Moon to Mars Exploration and Habitat Systems Academic Innovation Challenge. We are the power generation and storage team comprised of Sabrina Case, Olivia Krepp, Kaylin Miller, Tristan Erke, and Brooke Filippi. Our mentor is Dr. Jessica Fold, and this project is sponsored by NASA. The objective of this project was to provide NASA with a rover prototype that could travel to ideal power generation conditions and return to deliver power to rovers on work sites that are not conducive to power generation, specifically transferring power to rovers with critically low batteries to minimize time spent survival. The solution rover shown includes two vertical axis wind turbines shown in white, which extend and retract for storage when not in use. Two solar panels are shown next to the turbines, which retract into the green protective cases to be cleaned and stored. The multi-emission radioisotope thermoelectric generator is represented by the black simulated nuclear system located under the red electronics box. Lastly, an actuating plug system shown in tan is located at the front of the rover to allow for power transfer to other rovers. The customer requirements specified by the team's NASA mentors and NDSU mentors include explore and design alternative methods of power generation and storage for use in space, include a design for power transfer mechanism from this rover to other rovers, integrate chosen methods into the overall structure of the rover. The design must be obtainable for college students to complete in two semesters. The engineering specifications were determined based on these customer requirements. The specifications required at least two methods of power generation incorporated into the rover design, less than 12 hours average time to charge the battery at system efficiency of 80%, and the power generation system must run on a 24 volt DC system. Each subsystem of the power generation design was manufactured and assembled separately before the final assembly of the entire rover. The main manufacturing processes used by the team were cutting, milling, drilling, 3D printing, and welding. Sub-assemblies were tested individually before the final assembly, specifically for proper actuator deployment motion and the generation of power. After assembly, the compatibility was tested between power generation and the rest of the rover. It is important to stress that this rover is a proof of concept designed for Earth use and would not be suitable for space travel without certain adaptations. Should this concept be expanded on, we recommend solar panels designed for space, inputting the same nuclear system as the Perseverance, replacing some of the heavier metals with lighter options. In addition, it is recommended that a different supplier be selected for wind turbines as only one arrived due to supply chain issues outside of the team's control. The team would also like to extend a special thank you to those who assisted in this project. Success wouldn't have been possible without your expert help.